The battle in Bahrain was brilliant to start the Formula One 2022 season. And there's so much to get into here this Monday at GP Fans that we won't mess around with intros. Let's dive into all of the headlines from all of the fallout from Sunday's action. Christian Horner said that Red Bull's worst nightmare came true on Sunday as both Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez were forced to retire in the final few laps of the 2022 season opening race in Bahrain. A possible problem with the fuel system on the RB18 is considered the culprit that caused the late drama in the desert, costing the team a possible second and fourth place finish, or perhaps even better if the Milton Keynes based team had been able to find a way past the two Ferraris in first and third at the restart of the Grand Prix after a safety car was brought out due to Pierre Gasly's Alpha Tauri going up in smoke on the side of the track. I can't remember the last time that happened to us, but it is obviously your worst nightmare said team principal Christian Horner after the race. It is hugely disappointing, not only to lose the podium with Max, but also on the last lap to lose the podium with Checo as well. He had done the hard work into turn one, he had held off Lewis, and anyway, we will fight back next weekend. Well, there's not much time to get ready, Red Bull powertrains, because Saudi Arabia is just around the corner in a few days' time. Lewis Hamilton believes Mercedes have done a better job than Red Bull to start Formula One's new era, with the British driver watching both Max Verstappen and Checo Perez retire late on in Bahrain and gifting him and teammate George Russell third and fourth in the final standings. Mercedes struggled all through testing and this opening weekend for pace compared to Red Bull and Ferrari, but ultimately getting two cars across the finishing line left them smiling far more than their 2021 season rivals leaving Bahrain. Whilst we're not currently necessarily performance-wise fighting with these guys, it's not damage limitation, but it's a really great result. Of course, we're fortunate, but ultimately we've done a better job. We have better reliability, so I don't necessarily think that's luck. That's the hard work of everyone. Charles Leclerc still found time to put the fear of God into his Ferrari team as he finished the final lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix, completing a 1-2 finish for the Scuderia in the season curtain razor. The monogast driver was in imperious form as he held off charges from Max Verstappen throughout the 57 laps, and with a comfortable gap over teammate Carlos Sainz going into the final few corners, Leclerc thought he'd have some fun with the pit wall. I did a bit of a joke on the radio on the last lap, saying there was something strange with the engine, which gave a heart attack to some engineers, I am sure, joked Sunday's race winner. But everything was fine. Very happy this time we brought it home. Leclerc, of course, had a race win slipped through his fingers in Bahrain and in Silverstone last season, thanks to power issues with his Ferrari late on in the races. So you can imagine the fear rushing through everybody in the Ferrari camp, particularly as they were watching Red Bull's demise just down the road behind them. Bahrain was an absolute banger to kick off the season, but what was your favourite moment from the first race of 2022? Let us know in the comments section below. Do we have a three-way title battle on our hands? Can Mercedes get themselves up with Ferrari and Red Bull? We want to know all of your thoughts and hit subscribe down below to stick with us for the remainder of the season here at GP Fans.